Polish Americans in Northwest Ohio take great pride in their food, and for good reason. It tastes wonderful, reflects a rich cultural history, helps them adapt to their new homes, and nurtures connections with each other. Events like the LaGrange Street Polish Festival celebrate this heritage. Historically, Poland was a crossroads, so the cuisine reflects different culinary traditions. Much of the food brought by immigrants was peasant fare. Polish people do use uh, sauerkraut. One of the, the favorite dishes on that is smoked sausage and sauerkraut. But the specialty more with the cabbage is uh, sweet and sour cabbage. And it does have vinegar and it does have the sugar and that makes it the sweet and sour. Pork is really a big ingredient in Polish foods. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's actually is in the kielbasa, that's pork sausage, mm -hmm. the kielbasa. Mm -hmm. And then the pigs in a blanket, that's why the, we the Americans call them, yes, pigs in a kielbasa, pigs in a blanket. And fried onions are as kind of like a staple of, you put it in everything, and, and a lot of mushrooms too. Our cousin in Poland actually has sent us dried mushrooms that he personally picked in the woods. Polish immigration to Toledo established two neighborhoods in the 1870s each centered around a church. Many immigrants continued to speak Polish and eat the foods they knew. They had uh, Polish butcher shops. Uh, everything you wanted was in your neighborhood. Food helped the immigrants to survive, literally, but many also made a living as farmers, butchers, grocers, and cooks. Today, Polish markets and restaurants are gathering places for many Polish Americans, and they also share bits of Polish culture. My grandfather, who was emigrated to the States, probably 1917. So I think the, the foods that were sold in the neighborhood were probably foods brought over that the Eastern European recipes were from maybe the early 20th century. Stanley's, as far as we know, started in 1932. We're, we're a neighborhood store, we market to the neighborhood here. It's a you know, working class neighborhood and with the kielbasa and some of our you know, Polish foods that we make. We do attract people from all over the city and region. So we have a you know, pretty good mix of customer base. We try to keep uh, you know, traditions and cultures and we try to keep them alive. Historically, food traditions centered around home, church, and holidays. Well, Christmas and Easter are the main holidays, and it's mostly Easter is the biggest holiday in Poland. At Easter time, everyone buys an Easter ham. That's an American tradition, too. So hams were um, popular in Poland for all the holidays. The biggest holidays, celebration times, are uh, Thanksgiving to you know New Year's. People are having parties, and, and the kielbasa does well for graduations and communion parties. Uh, graduations run from June all the way through a little past 4th of July. People like to serve kielbasa for that. And then, then you get hobo dinner times, you know, when the sweet corn comes in. Kielbasa and pierogi are some of the best known Polish foods in Northwest Ohio. Every family had their own recipes, and variations showed region as well as personal history. My uncle makes his own kielbasa, and um, grandma makes pierogi and chicken soup and this and that. You know, pierogi pretty much can put anything in it. I know there's fruit-filled ones. We make, you know, I think more uh, a traditional one. We make a potato, and we put buckwheat groats in it, which, uh, you know, came from my mom's side of the family. And then we have the sauerkraut, and then the cheese. We use the dry cottage cheese for that. You know, everybody, I think, has your own little recipe and then twist on the pierogi. Mm -hmm. Today, Toledo has the ninth largest Polish population in the nation. The neighborhoods have declined. However, Polish Americans continue to take pride in their food, adapting it to new tastes and circumstances. A lot of times you go to the grocery store though and you'll see it says Polish sausage or Polish kielbasa and it's smoked sausage. Well, technically that's not what we grew up with is Polish kielbasa, it's called kielbasa, that is smoked sausage. It's, it's not a Polish thing, Polish holiday, but in the last 10 years or something, Punchki Day has popped up the day, the day before Ish Wednesday. We see a lot more uh, dill pickle soup now. 
For many Polish Americans, food connects them to their histories and to other people sharing those histories. They use it publicly and privately for celebration. And with it, they turn life itself into a celebration. Maybe the best well-known party food is Polish food. 